Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to 30 Days of Sketches with Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life. Today's sketch is this one right here and it is by me. So, yay. So here is that sketch. We're going to be scrapbooking some uh, Disney land parade photos. So let's see what I can do. Guys, so I'm starting out with some pink cardstock, and yes, this is very pink. Um, I'm also taking the opportunity to use up cardstock during these double page layout sketches. Uh, I am not a huge cardstock user. Um, I use a decent amount of white and black, but not, not as much colored cardstock as I used to back in uh, my early days of scrapbooking. My cardstock has uh, probably halved over time. Um, and that's pretty good considering I used to buy the crap out of those basil packs, right? You remember the basil four packs and the basil three packs? Man, they used to be at AC Moore and you could get them on sale. They would go on 50% off. Ugh. Man, I loved those packs. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> I am, look at this teal and pink, you guys, teal and pink. It is the color combination that people love or people hate. Um, however, I know that I'm going to be using some papers from LA Studio, and they have teal, pink, red, yellow, and some black in there, I believe. And I figured that this would be a good match. Now, I'm also bringing in some yellow, and I'm just going to figure out my photo situation. Uh, and then I realized that I cut that teal paper like really close to... Um, what the size of the photo was and I did not want that line being so close to the photo line because it would look one of two ways. One, it would look like I wasn't paying attention to where my lines were uh, or two, it would look like um, I was trying to line it up and just didn't have the wherewithal to actually get a straight line there. So I did not want that to happen. So I decided to bring in the yellow paper here, which my original plan was to have this as kind of a faux mat across the photos on the top and the bottom. Um, but ultimately, I'm glad I did this because this is like pastel Disneyland, pastel bright Disneyland. Um, I puked all over the page right now. <laughs> and I'm, I'm here for it, you guys. I am here for it. This uh, was a parade. The parade was lovely. Um, I love the parade floats and the costumes and they were just top notch and a good time. Uh, and we stood right next to a Disney trash can, um, which made the parade even better. Now, if you want to, oh, I think those photos are going crooked and I didn't even notice it. Oh, well. Oh, well. The page is done and it's already in the album, so we're not fixing it. Now, if you want to see other perspectives of this trip and pictures with a lot more uh, people in them, because what was I thinking? I hardly took any pictures of us um, on this trip. I don't know what I was thinking. Check out Crystal <laughs> over at Pineapple Papers. She is actually scrapbooking um, the Disneyland trip right now as well. And uh, she is doing hers in a traveler's notebook. So uh, a couple different perspectives there for page size. So I've got that striped paper in there. Um, and then I'm going to use this cut apart as my title block. And I'm going to trim it down and tuck it under. And then I am happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and get that in there. Um, I just want it to kind of tuck under all of the photos just a little bit. And then I know that that is where a title is going to go. I uh, picked up these on clearance at Brutus Monroe uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, I had everything to show a little bit of a little scrappy haul. Snappy little, scrappy little clearance haul. Um, and I put it on a pile on my desk and I've been picking stuff out of it and using it. So it's kind of hard to, uh, okay. 
That sounded like somebody dropped all of their fireworks off at once uh, accidentally. So if you heard that, that's what that was. Um, but I was going to show a little, little, you know, like scrappy clearance haul. Because um, if I can get stuff that I'm going to use on clearance, that makes me happy, right? Like my whole shopping philosophy is I still check out the clearance, but I'm only buying it if I love it and I'm going to use it. Um, not just because it's cheap, right? Like shopping philosophy has changed uh, muchly over the years. Used to buy the clearance stuff because it was cheap <laughs> and make it work in the albums. Um, and sometimes I didn't, and sometimes it just sat and sat and sat and didn't matter if it was 14 cents. It still was a waste of 14 cents, right? Like, because I hated it and, uh, kind of feeling. Anyway, don't, don't, don't do those kind of shopping feelings anymore. Um, so I'm going to bring in a couple of washi tapes. I've got this pink and white washi tape that I have had for a hot minute, and it came in one of those multi washi tape packs that I can't remember. Um, I know one of the kids gave it to me for Christmas uh, one year, but I don't remember which big box store it came from, but it was from them. Uh, and then I'm also using this Teresa Collins uh, washi tape and it is definitely Disney inspired so I'm going to put that up at the top and then I decided you know what I want a little bit of a border down here at the bottom as well so I'm going to place it at the bottom of the photos which is where originally that yellow paper was going to be but I am okay with this um, I am okay with pink in my Disney layouts you guys I am okay with not having the traditional Disney colors all of the time. Now, have I completed albums like that? Yes. Have I completed albums that are just all over the place? Yes. It's just a matter of how I'm feeling at the time. And I think that it's okay, right? Like, oop, just another little firework went off. Um, it is okay to say I want a very thematic and color unified album this time and the next time you go I just want to go crazy with color and do whatever the heck I want I think that that's totally fine because no matter what each time you're doing what you want right you want a colored like a, a specific colored theme and then one time you don't and that's exactly what you want so you're making it happen so it's always good um but anyway I pulled off that magical and then I'm going to pull off some of these dots and stars and little bits because I think that they are perfect uh, on Disney layouts and it just works, in my opinion. So I'm going to follow the sketch, um, which is probably a good thing since it's my sketch. So I must have, you know, processed it through my brain somehow. Um, but I'm going to put those on there and then um, I'm going to add in some little bits as well. I want to have little pops of black on here um, just so it doesn't look like it's like spring Easter throat. Wow, you guys, I am looking at this and everything is crooked everywhere. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is, this is pretty righteously crooked. Um, and... You know, when I was scrapping it, I didn't even notice it. And here's the thing. Like, um, I worked earlier today. I came home. We went out for a little bit. We came back home. I fell asleep on the couch. Um, woke up. I'm, I'm just, I'm exhausted, okay? Going to a new store is, is exhausting. I'm tired. Um, emotionally tired, right? So it's okay, but I did not notice any of this stuff was crooked at all. So yeah, if that's driving you crazy, I'm sorry. It's not especially driving me crazy. I find it hilarious. Um, and like I said, it's already in the page protectors, already in the album. So there is not going to be any pulling this apart and fixing it and making it all straight. Because frankly, I just don't care that much. Um, they're parade photos from Disney. It's not like it's, not that those aren't important. I, I say that, but it's not like it was like 
some sort of epic thing that I'm scrapbooking that I just want to be absolutely, utterly perfect and I'm I'm so emotionally invested into it. This, I'm emotionally invested into it because it's Disney and I love it. Look, I'm even, yeah, get that crookedness down there. Um, but yeah, it's crooked and I love it. So that's all there is to it. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this layout. Please check out the playlist um, that's down below. That is for 30 days of sketches. And if you use my sketch, I would love it if you tagged me because I would love to see it. I think that is super cool when someone uses a sketch that I create. Um, also, if you like posted sketches, we've got Follow a Sketch Friday posted edition going on right now in the Scrapping Reflections Facebook group. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.